Hello guys, welcome back to Coding Cafe. My name is Mohamed Ali and in the previous video tutorial, as you know that we have created a group chat activity. Now what we will be doing in this video, as you know that we are on our groups fragment, where we display basically all the groups alongside with their names or using a list view. If I show you uh, the uh, group fragment, then this is our group fragment which we uh, created in the previous video tutorial. And we have successfully display all the uh, groups alongside with their names on our groups fragment now in this video what we will be doing is that when a user click on any groups that is let's say I click on coding cafe group then we will send the user from the group fragment to the group chat activity alongside with that element name that is on the using that group name that is if I click on coding cafe then I will basically get the name of this group which is coding cafe and I will send that group name to the next activity which is our group chat activity from our activity which we are using currently which is the group fragment so let's do it and when we will do it at the end of this video you will understand this thing more clearly so let's do it and let's uh, let me tell you how we can do that basically let me implement this so first of all here on our groups fragment this is our list view which we define and then we are calling this initialize field method and inside this initialize field method we have uh, initialized our list view okay you can see that alongside with our array adapter and I hope you remembered in the previous video tutorial we have done this so now on our own create view method uh, below this retrieve and display groups method okay here we can simply say list view which is our list view basically so we can set a click listener on that so you can say set on click listener new on click listener and inside this on click method sorry it will not be a uh, set on click listener okay this is basically the a list view dot set dot set item on click listener I mean set on item click listener new adapter view and you can see this first one which is adapter view dot set on item click listener and now here inside our this on item click method you can see we have adapter view object and then we have a view object and this i and long l so this int i is basically the position that is let's say if I click on Android developers then it will uh, get the position of that uh, place and this long i is basically the id the id of that element on which we will click that is let's say if I click on this Android developers then it will get the id of that so instead of calling it i I can change it you can uh, do it like that I mean whatever you like just I give it uh, appropriate names so that we can understand it more clearly uh, I mean if anybody uh, read our code then he can understand it more clearly and we can call this as long ID and now here we can say let's create a string type variable first so that will be current group name that is the group name on which a user will click we will get that uh, and we will store it inside this current group name string type variable and now by using this adapter view we can get that so you can say adapter view you can give it any name you want to it okay but i will uh, use this default object name which is adapter view i mean you can give it any name like parent or anything so you will write that parent name here okay for the adapter view object which is basically for now I mean the object name is adapter view so we can say adapter view dot get item at position the first one okay get item at position and you can pass the position to it dot to string make sure to put a semicolon here so what it means that is let's say if I click on the school friends then it will get the name and it will store it inside this string uh, current group name string type variable okay and now once we get that we have to send the user to the group chat activity alongside with the group name so how we can pass this group name al alongside with that so first we have to create an intent so you can say intent let's call this as group chat intent equals to new intent 
we are on the groups fragment so how to get the context of it uh, by using the get context context okay but let's say if we were using uh, activity instead of the fragment then as you know that the context we get by the name that is group chat activity dot this but since we are on the fragment so uh, in case of fragment we have to uh, get the context by using this method which is get context and we are going to send the user uh, to the group chat activity okay which is our this activity so we can say group chat activity dot class and we can say start activity for the group chat intent now we have to it will basically send the user from the group fragment to the group chat activity now we have to send this group name alongside uh, with the sending from the group chat fragment to the group chat activity so how we can do that by using the uh, intent which is the group chat intent dot put we can first give it a key value a key so the key will be let's say group name comma and we can pass that current group name which is the value for it so now it will send us to the group chat activity from the group fragment uh, alongside with this value okay and this value will also be passed to here group chat activity so how to receive this value here so for that go to the group chat activity and on our group chat activity first we need to create here a string type variable and we can call this as uh, let's say current group name and now here uh, above this uh, I mean inside our own create method here we can say current group name equals to get intent dot get extras dot get and now here we have to pass the same key I mean the name which we use here okay make sure to uh, co use the same name here okay if you do not then your app will crash so copy that group name and press that here and we can convert it to string so in this way by using this line of code we are getting the group name from our previous uh, group segment and we are storing inside this current group name now let's display it for now as a toast message so that we can see either if it is working or not so here we can pass that uh, sorry current group name okay as a toast message since we are on the group chat activity so here we can say the context will now be group chat activity dot this and yeah let's run the app so our app is running now successfully and now if i go to the groups fragment and here let's click on school friends then you see it send us to the school friends group okay you can see the toast message let's go back and let's click on another one that is android developers and check here air android developers okay so you can see that it is working fine if i click here on friends zone group then here you can see friends zone so now what we're gonna do here i mean we have successfully passed the group name from our uh, group fragment list view that is uh, on which item the user will click that is on which group the user will click it will get that group name and it will uh, send that group name to the next activity now what we're going to do here instead of displaying uh, this default group name we can uh, display the group name alongside with that so for that uh, come down here and here you can see we have this inside this initialized field method we have a toolbar which we created in the previous video tutorial so let's remove this group name from here and here we can say current group name so let's run the app so our app is running now successfully let's go to the groups let's click on this first one which is fifa world cup and you can see fifa world cup and here is the fifa world cup group now let's click on another one that is let's say coding cafe it sends us to the group chat activity and you can see the group name and here also the coding cafe so now this is it for this video and in the next video what we will be doing that is we will allow the user to start chatting with each other uh, i mean inside each group that is let's say i like to start chatting with my friend inside this android developer group so i will simply click on that and i will see all the previous or old messages and also i can exchange messages with my friend inside this group so yeah that's it for this video 
and see you guys in the next video and if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel like this video and yeah take care of yourself